Hey YouTube, it's your boy the Reason NDA here, and um, today I want to talk about, or this time I want to talk about um, hype beast. Uh, as you guys know, if you have watched my channel, I did another video about hype beast before, talking about like what she's wearing and stuff. Because when the um, Hyper Strike um, T Mac ones came out, I talked about what's not a hype beast and what is and stuff like that. And then I just watched a um, video by Twenty Biatch, I think that's how you say his name. Um, so yeah, I just watched a video by him. And then uh, he was just talking about. It was actually a very response to um, J Star's um, like philosophy or whatever it is. And so I decided to make a video response to his. Um, my opinion has like changed since I did that video. Not just because of his video, but because of some other things. Um, and then his video did enlighten some other stuff. You know, like reminded me of stuff like um, just like New Balance. To me, New Balance is always an old, old man shoe. I'm completely brand new loyalty to, like, I didn't even have these here. I just took these out just to do something outside in the garage. Brand loyalty to, you know who? Boom. Brand loyalty to Nike, pretty much, that's it. Nothing else. I might even have, like, Nike shorts right here. I don't know, these are my school shorts. But, um, yeah. Thought I did, but I don't. <laughs> but I'm sure there's something else Nike around me. Pretty close. But uh yeah. And so I just wanted to talk about a little bit about hype beast and stuff. Um so I don't really consider like I even just talked about a hyped up shoe in terms of the cork. Now on that shoe, there's a ton of hype beasts. I'm not gonna lie, there's a ton of hype beasts. And I don't care really much what pretty much what anybody says on that. But um there's also a ton of people that, you know, really like the shoe. Like, I really like the shoe. If I had the money, I would try, try to go out and get them. I know the story behind them. I know that they're about his championship and his first and popping the cork and everything. Most people didn't even know it was made of cork. Somebody was like, oh, that's really cool leather on the outside. How do they do that design? Somebody told me that. I was like, are you serious? Come on now. Are you serious? But, yeah, it's really ridiculous. Um, The the high beast on those shoes are pretty ridiculous. Like, more than half the people in that shoe are hype beasts, people who bought them and have them. But then there's guys like Indeed, and then I know um, like some other people here on YouTube, can't think about it, who um, have done, what's it called, who have done um, reviews on them already that aren't hype beasts, you know? They got real lucky, they got their thing, and they, they did it, you know? And I'm kind of happy for them for that, you know? They got a great looking shoe, freaking awesome buy. And if they wanted to resell, which I know Indeed's not, because he already did a lace swap, I like, I almost cried. <laughs> I almost cried when he did the lace off. I was like, no, you can't even, you can never, ever, ever resell or call those dead stock or anything anymore after that. Because they're not factory lace. But, um, yeah, it, it was, um, I actually really liked his video. His video was funny. Go check it out. Um, Indeed 317, I'll put it name in the link. But, um, I know, I know pretty much everybody who watches my stuff has to watch his stuff. He's, um, he's pretty popular here on YouTube. But if you don't, I'll put it inside the description. Um, but yeah, it was an awesome video. Really cool. I might even put the actual link to the video in the description, but I'm not sure. Um, sorry for rambling a little bit, but to get into back into the topic of hype beast, um, the 20 Biatch he talked about um, like him getting into New Balance, like liking it and stuff, and um, not going for just Nike like he did before. Like if I had the money, I definitely would have bought like 574s and stuff, some nice looking New Balances. I wouldn't go out and buy like the nasty, ugly old people running shoes that they have, but I'd buy some of the cool um, sportswear stuff. Because the only people in my area who really have those are like college seniors and stuff at the community colleges that just, you know, kind of have a little bit of swag, but it's whatever. Like, um, the first time I saw the answer, you know, like Olympic type colorway, I guess it's just a 76ers home colorway, but it looks kind of like Olympic you like. It's just red, white, and blue. But I saw those, and the guy was wearing overalls. Those and a Bo Jackson shirt, so he was um he was trying his best to go retro. <laughs> but um yeah, so in terms of hype beasts, my paint has changed a little bit, but it's not like you know, I still think there are a ton of hype beasts. But then again, are you gonna call me a hype beast because I'm drinking this? I mean, you know, it's kind of interesting. A lot of different debates. Like I told him, um, I really enjoy like listening to other opinions on this, because not everybody that buys a shoe that's really cool is a hype beast. And he also made a good point: the fact that um, I think they want to call people hype beasts so that they don't buy the shoes so that they can get them. Um, but yeah, that that was like you know, if you know what I'm saying, like they want to call you hype beast so you're discouraged to do it, so that they have an easier chance of getting the shoe. That that makes a lot of sense to me, like why they're doing it and stuff. But um, it's really stupid on um both ends of the hype beast part, stupid. And the haters are being stupid just because they can't get the shoe. 
overall, it's all really dumb. I'm um, sorry, my screen time got right there. But it's all really dumb to me that people, um, like, yeah. Like, I live all the way in Northern California, Kansas. Am I a hype beast? I don't know. I like the heat. Am I a hype beast? I don't know. You know? It's, it's interesting. But, um, I also want to touch on another topic. I am looking for some LeBron 4s. Any colorway, just dead stocked. I just want them. LeBron 4s, LeBron 1s. I want to get them right now before they retro and go all crazy with it. Um, I know I've always wanted to get a pair of them. I remember there was this kid in my AAU team who had them. He just ran them to the ground. I was so mad. Yeah. <laughs> I was so mad. He ran them straight into the ground. But, um, like, he, that was the only shoe that he ever wore. But, hey, he liked them. That's what he did. And actually, like, the fours is the only reason I say the fours because they look really good. Me, personally, it's not a lot of hype beats, right? I hate the eights. I hate the eights. You might see me with the pair. Like, I would get some South Beaches, some Entourages, or something like that. And, um, yeah, but I'm, I'm definitely not a big eights fan. Like, the like not the um, B2s, but the, just the regular eights. They're not, yeah, they're not cool looking. <laughs> Not exactly my favorite shoe, but I do like the way the fours look, and I would like to have a one just because it's LeBron's first shoe, and um, I want to see like the first game shoe because I was there at that first game. I saw LeBron go off with 25, and he had like seven and six. Yeah, I was there at that first game that LeBron ever played. I wish I'd have got like a signature or something, or kept like the um, kept like the uh, like the game thingy, whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called. Leave that in the comments too if you know. But um, just let me know your opinion in the comments. Um, if you hit, if you make a video response to this. Uh, you know, send me the link. I want to watch it. I like hearing other people's opinions about this stuff. So, um, thanks for watching. Shout out to 20 Biot. Shout out to ND. And, um, it's been the Reason 98. I'm out. Thanks again, guys.